She should be in the next Star Wars movie. She looks like she knows how to work a lightsaber. <laughs> Get your minds out of the gutter. Sheesh. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Mastermind Creations, Azalea! So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So right here you have Azalea looking like she's about to just slice somebody up, somebody's gonna have a bad day. Uh, you have Azalea Avenger, she's an Avenger, apparently. I don't know. She could give Black Widow a run for her money. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. On this side of the box, you just have all right, Azalea. You have a picture of Azalea. Azalea. Hey, look up top. Look, it's Azalea on the bottom. Just warning: don't eat anything in the box. On the back, you have your obligatory product shots. She can sit. She can jump. She can put her hands behind her head. She can cross her arms. She can look like that. She can crouch. She can do things and stuff. And hooray! And you can open up this front flap here. Right there is where the figure sits. It says reformatted, and you have a nice piece of artwork there of Azalea. And that's basically it for the packaging. And included in the packaging, you get the obligatory third-party collector's card right there with Azalea. And on the back, you have her tech specs, if that interests you. So, cards. And you also get the instructions. So, hey, I have that guy. <laughs> Remember when this was just a teaser? Ah! And on the other side you have the comic book right here for Azalea. And that's basically it for that. So moving right along, here we have little itty bitty Azalea. Because she is just tiny. She's just so small. But here she is. And yes, I know I'm way late reviewing this, but um, I, I actually just bought this a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and I don't know why I put off buying her for so long. I really don't know. Um... But I'm glad I finally did, because she's a, a very cool figure, and I do quite like her. So here she is, in her vehicle mode. And this is definitely a much more IDW um, RC, and I really like it. And it, again, just makes me question all the more why I put off buying this, because I love the IDW designs. <laughs> but yeah, here she is. Get in close to us so you can see the details. Nice white and pink paint scheme. As is with RC, you do get some yellow right up front for the headlights. You get some silver right here. Nice blue for the cockpits right there. And you do get some nice multi details right there. You get some little thrusters in the back right there. You do get a lot of hollowness right there. You can see the back of her head just hanging out right next to her, right, right, right on top of her butt right there, which is a little that's kind of awkward, but hey. And underneath, you can kind of see how everything. Just kind of folds up in there, like that. And you get a little bit of a uh, little bit of orange, a smart orange color, right there up top. Oh well, yeah, there you go. Um, she does have these little wings right here that you can flip up if you want. There are various configurations you can actually like rotate these out to make more of a uh, like a little jet design. But that's really meant more for the other versions of this mold. Um, but you know, again, if you want RC to have just some cool looking, you know. Batmobile-esque fins, you can totally do that, and that looks pretty cool also. So again, hey, your toy, display it however you wish. So, just for comparison, here she is with the Generations RC, and you can see she is definitely quite a bit smaller than the Generations Deluxe RC. Right there. So there you have that. She does include some accessories. She does include her two guns right here and handles just fold down and very cool I, I really like the paint they used on these weapons this looks really nice nice metallic paint it's very cool so she has her two guns and she also has her two swords right here which are done with that same uh paint look really nice you can just flip out the blade you have a nice orange blade right there and again the nice paint work and some nice molded details right there. And all of this can store on the alt mode. For the guns you just flip up the handles right here and these clips right here will go right on the back. See these little notches are right here. Take these, boom, clip them on and boop, clip that on and there you have that. 
For the swords, you have these tabs on either side right here. And they just, these just plug into these slots right here on the sides. And... Whoop. Now the swords do have these little notches. You can see there's a little tab right here that goes into this little notch. And it doesn't really work all that well. You can kind of see on this one, like it just kind of pushes itself out. So it doesn't quite work the way it's supposed to. But hey, I mean, it stays together. Whatever. It is what it is. But plug that right there. And there you go. So she does have storage for all of her weapons, which is quite cool. And she does come with this piece right here, which is basically just a little, uh, just a little flight stand. Which is cast in pink plastic. Has a little bit of molded detail in there. And that just plugs in right underneath, right there. Plug that in. There you go. It just makes it look like she's kind of slightly hovering off the ground, which is pretty cool. So there you go. We have Azalea. I mean, as far as any uh, features go, I mean, that's what she does. <laughs> there are no gimmicks in this or anything. Um, its gimmick is that it transforms, which is basically the whole gimmick of a transformer. So there you go. We have that. So let's just get right down to transformation, shall we, lads? So let's just remove the weapons right here. Remove the guns. Just unclip those. Ooh, that one. Held on a little more securely. Uh, pop out the flight stand. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to take these side pieces here. You want to untab them. Now, here's the thing. You can leave these attached for transformation. The instructions tell you you can leave them attached for transformation. But really, they recommend that you just pull them off entirely. And so do I. It just makes life a lot easier if you just pop these off all together. So, yeah. I know, parts forming, worst toy ever. I'll... But it does make life a lot easier if you just pop these off. It's a lot less to deal with. So there you go. Pop these off. Put them off to the side for now. And they are just left with this right here. Now the transformation is honestly very simple. The only thing that's really finicky is just getting the head where it needs to go into transformation. I'll get into that once we get to that point of transformation. But everything else is very straightforward. The legs, you're just going to untab them. You just tab onto... This tab right here, bring the leg down, bring up the foot, and then you're just gonna, you see right here, the hand is holding on to a peg inside the thigh, so you just wanna unpeg that. And then you're gonna take this whole thigh and you're going to rotate it outward, like that, get the hand out of the way. And then bring this back in, there's a little tab that will go into that slot right there, and that will snap into place. Orient everything, and there you get a leg. Second verse, same as the first. Just untap that, bring that down, unpeg the hand, rotate the hip out, bring that in, tap it into place, rotate everything. This is a separate piece right here, this little thigh piece. Let's bring that down, set up her foot. Now you got the legs all done. See? Very straightforward. <laughs> the arms. This section right here tabs into that shoulder pad, so you want to untab that. And then the shoulder pad itself actually tabs in to the arm, so you want to bring that up. You can see the little tab right there. And all you're going to do here is just straighten out the arm, rotate it so the elbows are oriented properly, rotate the wrists and everything. Again, this little uh, gauntlet here is a separate piece. It's on its own swivel. And you can raise up the shoulder pad, and there you got an arm done. Again, very easy, straightforward. Extend that. Whoops. Bring that up. Rotates. And there you go. So now, here comes the tricky parts, right here. You want to lift up these flaps, right there. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but this is basically how you want everything oriented in here as we get a close-up of her butt. But... <laughs> this is basically how you want everything oriented. So if you're going, if you buy this toy, or if you have already bought this toy and are having trouble with it, this is basically how you want everything oriented in there. Like that. And you see there's a tab right in there that plugs into the back of her head. You want her head basically tilted up all the way. And that will uh, basically then be in place for that tab to go into. But that's pretty much everything you want. Like that platform and everything you want past this hinge. And like I said, you want the head tilted up all the way. So we'll undo this. Yeah, this little tab right here that goes into this white spot. So you want to basically just raise all this up like that. 
<clears throat> and sometimes you can pop her head off accidentally. It happens. But you just bring all this up like that. And then you just swing her head out right there. And like I said, when you have when you're going into alt mode, you want to make sure that head is tilted all the way back. Like that. So once you've done that, you can take this chest section here, you can just rotate it down like that. Bring the arms back around. So then you can take this section and just collapse it up like that against her back. And you're going to take this section here, you're going to bring it out so these two pieces are not sitting in those grooves anymore. You want to rotate this whole assembly right here. And then you just bring this whole assembly down, and you'll see, you can rotate her head now, and you'll see that right here, you can see these little notches will go right here into this chest plate, right there, and lock all that into place, all in that slack. So there you have that. And then you can take her shoulders, her shoulders are on a ball joint at the base, you can just take them in. Shift them up here so they're properly oriented, like that, and there you basically go. And then you can bring in, get her standing, raise up a smidge, and then you can bring these pieces back in and just plug them right back where they were in here. And like I said, for me anyway, it just makes life a whole lot easier to just pop these off. You know, I don't care about parts forming anyway, so hey, popping some pieces off makes the transformation a little bit easier. Ah, oh, that's, that's okay. I don't need to be the transformation master. No, I need maximum difficulty. No, no, I just, I just want it to work. There you go. So there you go. There you have Azalea. In her robot mode. And very cool. And again, a very IDW looking RC. And I do quite dig her. So let's get in close here so you can take a look at the head sculpt. Very nice head sculpt. Very cool. Very RC. Very nicely done. Some nice mold details. Nice blue on the eyes there. Would be nice if they had maybe painted her lips. Giving her a little bit of lipstick. But still... Very nice head sculpt, though, all around. Like I said, a very, very IDW RC. And again, the, the detail is very, very nice. Very cool. You do get some more white here. And you get some silver right here on her stomach. And again, I, I, I love it when they use this design where it kind of looks like, you know, layered plates on the stomach. I think that looks really cool. And overall, a very nice design. You know, she's very, she's slim, she's sleek, she's slender. As at least I think an RC should be. But overall, very cool design right there. I like the paint they use on this part of her foot here. It's kind of like a gunmetal gray. Looks very nice. Down here. On the back, she does have a little flap hanging off of her butt. But, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. And the backpack right there. You know, not a whole lot of a backpack. I mean, it's it's... You know, it's an RC backpack. It actually has less backpack than the Generations version, so... <laughs> There's that. And there you go. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball drain. You do get some good wiggly-waggly movements. You can get all sassy with you. Like, what you gonna do? What, what you gonna do? Um, due to this piece right here, she can't really look up. You can see that kind of gets in the way. So looking up doesn't really happen. She can look down. And again, nice wiggly-waggly movement. Of course, there's full 360 movement right there. Uh, the shoulders are on a ball joint right there at the base itself. And they're also on a ball joint right here, as you can see. So you get full 360. You do get nice outward movement right there. And that shoulder piece is on a hinge also, so you can angle that however you want. You do you can use the ball joint there, of course, to swivel the arm. You do get a double-jointed elbow, which is nice. Wrist swivel, and again, these little gauntlet pieces are on their own individual joints. Uh, the torso, she does have an upper torso ball joint here. So you do get some wiggly waggly. She can go, what, what, whoa, right there. And she does have a hinge at her waist. So she can angle back, angle forward. That can also rotate right there. Um, you don't really get any side-to-side -side movements. 
but you can use that upper joint for that if you want it. Um, these little side skirt pieces here are on ball joints as well. So these can kind of move around and get out of the way for you. Uh, the hips are on a ball joint. You can get full forward movements, full backward movements, pretty much full outward movements. Um, you do get some swivel as well. And again, this little side thigh piece is on its own hinge there so I can move independently. You do get a swivel at the knee. You get double jointed knee. So you get full range of movement right there. And the feet can pivot up, they can pivot down, and you do get some nice tilts right there. So she is quite poseable. It's a very nicely done figure, in my opinion, anyway. So there you have that. And of course, she can use all of her accessories. You can give her give her a gun, give her a sword. She does hold everything nice and secure. Open that up. Give her a blade. Right there. Due to the tab, you can't just, you know, feed it down into her hand. You have to just kind of get the handle in there and then just kind of kind of pop it in. And there you go. So she can hold a sword, hold a gun, hold two swords, hold two guns, whatever you want. As always, your toy, display it however you wish. She can store everything also, which is nice. Um, you can fold these up. She does have these pegs on her hips, so if you wanted to store the swords there, you totally can. They peg right there. But um, the way I like to store everything is I like take the guns, peg the guns on her hips. Right here. Flip that down. Peg that there. Oops. Get over here. Peg that there. And right here on the backpack, there are these tabs right here on these pink pieces. And there are slots right here on the handles of the sword. And you can take these and just tap them on right there. And right there. Like that. And that's how I like to store everything on her. That just looks cool. That just works. So there you have that. And this little flight stand piece you can also use. You can see there is a little tab right there. And you can plug this into either one of backs of her feet. Take that, plug that in right there. And there you go. It actually does help to make her more stable, since she does have you know pretty small feet. That does help to make her stable, which is nice. So now she's not too prone to tipping over. So there you go. It's a very cool figure overall. I do quite like her. Now stay right there. Now for comparison. Here she is with the Generations RC. You can see here, if I can get her to stand up. There we go. You can see, obviously, a bit taller than the Generations Deluxe. And, of course, the main difference here is this is supposed to be more of a G1 RC, and this is more the IDW comic book design for RC. So, there you go. You can pick whichever one suits your palette. Right there, and there she is with Voyager Springer. Just you can see how they look together. Right there. And with some other Mastermind stuff. There she is with Spotten. Right there. And there she is with Voss. Right there. You can see only a little bit shorter than Voss. So there you go. So yeah, very cool figure. Again, I don't know why I put off buying this figure for as long as I did. I really don't know, but now that I finally have her, I'm glad. I'm really glad I picked her up. Very cool figure. Um, again, the transformation is not a hard transformation. It's all very straightforward. The only part that's really finicky is just getting the head and all that, you know, configured right when you're going into alt mode. That's the only real thing that's kind of finicky. Other than that, everything is pretty straightforward transformation-wise. Um, but yeah, neat figure. I dig it. I like it very, very much. Very cool. So, 
There you go. So if you would like an Azalea or any of Mastermind Creation's other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToysStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my third-party Transformers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Mastermind Creations Azalea, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, pull me in your face! Alright, here's the plan. We break into the Decepticon base, I'll keep them busy while you hack into their database. Who wants to know to what you know what love is? Who wants to know to what you to show him? Who wants to know to what you feel what love is? Who wants to know to just want to love you? Anyway, so you hack into the database.